Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here and you're watching another episode of Exploring Music. Yes, don't let your eyes deceive you. This isn't Exploring Australia, this is Exploring Music. Get ready, check it out. Exploring Music with a backpack on. Ha. <laughs> well, I wanted to do this video for a while and now of course when I'm talking the wind's gonna pick up. So, I hope this comes out okay. So, yeah. Anyway, exploring music. Why am I doing it here? Well, I wanted to have a chat to you about music in the industry in Australia, specifically Australia at the moment. Um, and I thought I'd do it out here instead of on the big ugly green chair. Yeah, so I could have done it a big ugly green chair at home, but I thought, no, I'm, gonna, I'm going out and doing exploring. I'm shooting a video for Exploring Australia, and I thought, no, nah, I'll do the video out here while I'm out here. So, I've got a big heavy backpack on my back. But this is kind of part of what I want to talk about with the way the music is. Because for a lot of musicians, this is the music industry now during the pandemic yes the virus i'm not going to say the actual words you guys know what i'm talking about why is exploring music been so quiet well that's because there hasn't been much music now don't get me wrong there is still music going on normally mostly by big artists and more intermediate artists like I said, I know the wind's picking up while I'm talking, so I hope that this isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, well this is the music industry now in Australia, pretty much. Uh, you know, I've, put, I've talked to a lot of people about what's going on in the music industry here, and it ain't much. A lot of the bigger artists can still play some gigs. You know, they get the bigger venues that have more space to spread out. But for your average artist that just does bread and butter gigs, in, um, you know, they do bread and butter gigs in pubs and clubs and small venues. That's really gone. You know, like uh, band shows, whew, they're almost non existent in most places here at the moment. I uh, got called up by a pub the other week and saying, oh, you know, I'd like to get you in, but can't do the full rock show. Because, why? Because you can't sing, you can't cheer, and you can't dance. Basically, in a lot of venues, you just sit and listen to music if, it's, if there's music playing. Yeah, yeah, so you just sit and listen if music's playing. So there's not a lot going on in the live scene here in Australia, thanks to the pandemic. Yes, I'm gonna say it weird, uh, try and avoid the, so I can say something, but avoid the algorithms saying, you can't say that. But this is the music industry now. Um, I actually have a song ready to come out. Uh, the song is recorded, done and dusted, a brand new single. But we gotta make a couple videos and a bunch of stuff behind the scenes and we're just waiting for the right time. Um, and it's going to be a worldwide release and yeah this is the sad state of the music industry at the moment now a lot of larger artists and a lot, a lot of medium artists um, still can do stuff but why is it a problem like I said I've talked to a bunch of people and see you know other artists and other musicians that I know and just to see where they stand and you know a couple of them got some work planned well what happens if you don't if you have a tour that goes out of the state what happens all of a sudden another outbreak happens they lock down the state all those gigs get cancelled you can't plan ahead too far that's the whole problem with the live scene at the moment because an outbreak could happen and that er your area could be locked down um, you know, you can't plan uh, 
get a state because the borders might close. You know, Victoria, as most people know, are in lockdown and they got a curfew on and all that. But yeah, they can go to sporting events, but that's a whole different side. We're not talking politics here. We're talking about music. But it's also, how do you ask fans to spend money and time on something that might not happen and if it does all they can do is just sit there and be quiet because like I said in most venues you cannot dance on the dance floor because you might breathe too heavy and spread germs you cannot sing because you're expelling too much air and you will spread germs it, there's no fun in it in that sense in most venues and they've got to restrict it otherwise they get fined and people get fined and it's just crazy so this is the state of the music scene in Australia you know music festivals are cancelled you know they've been well postponed or cancelled whichever way you want to view it but that's the sad truth now they've tried to put some larger events on and they have and with some success but then there's a whole bunch of stuff online where you can't even play songs online because you'll be taken down because they're just, you know, Facebook's Facebook and everything else. So, it's frustrating as a musician. What do you do? So, I'm still about waiting for the right time to do a release a single when I get everything planned. And, you know, I've got another single. It, again, it's with the awesome Jackie Lee. She came on board and helped me with this song. And, you know, Organized and produced by um, yeah, Rick Mears over in America and David Hoyne and also uh, Adam Jordan from Main Street Studios. Awesome. And of course, I've got my backers, you know, conceptual creative who do an awesome job. I've got the link down below. Give them some love. If you need anything done with a website or web hosting and that sort of stuff, make sure you give them a call. Go on, give them a help. But yeah, the state of the music industry here is pretty sad. And what do you do? Well, keep practicing, keep playing. If you can, keep recording. I know a lot of people are recording. The live shows, which is where most musicians make their money, just ain't happening. But that's, how are we gonna change that? Let's think outside the box. Let's come up with some solutions. See what we can do. Comment below, let me know what your, your solutions are. Because the world's crazy and it's hard to expect fans to sort of try and make plans that'll probably be cancelled anyway. But until then, we just keep going and when we can, we bring out the music and we rock it on even more. So, that's just the way the industry is at the moment here in Australia. Let me know down below if you're outside of Australia and how's the life scene going at your, where you are. So, exploring music is still around and I've got a lot of ideas for exploring music but I'd like to do it when we can actually just keep things running. You know, so once we do it, instead of talking about hypothetical shows that aren't even gonna be around or things like that. If you're interested in doing guitar lessons, I've had a few people asking me about that. So I'm thinking about bringing back the guitar lessons. If you like that idea, comment below, let me know. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna keep my hiking. And you'll see that if you check out the Exploring Australia video that this is, I'm actually out shooting right now. And yeah, until next time guys, I'm Mark Shea. Smash like, hit the notification bell when you subscribe. <laughs> and keep rocking away. I'm not going anywhere. I, there will be stuff coming out and there will be more exploring music stuff. But a lot of it's been put on hold for later on because I've got big plans for that. But I, as I come up with some good ideas that we can do for exploring music, I'll be releasing them, so don't you worry, I haven't disappeared. And yeah, until next time, I'm Mark Shea, this is Exploring Music, see ya!